Fine. Late December back in 63. Oh, he wrote a time for me. It was a song about a guy losing his... It's, it's, it's really the Solomon Khan song. Because <laughs> it's about someone losing their virginity. Well, he hasn't done that, so it can't be about him. Oh, that's true. It must be Amir. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid wreck to eat some Corbin. I'm not a virgin. Are you sure? Let me check. <laughs> and today, a uh, we got uh, a new teaser that dropped a few days ago. Sorry, we missed it, guys. A and nude teaser. Love those nude teasers. And it's actually, sorry, it's not even a teaser. It's a glimpse. Ooh, a nude glimpse. <laughs> yes. That's even Ooh. more tantalizing. Uh, but this is called Glimpse. Tease me with your glimpse. Liger. Oh, that immediately makes me think of Napoleon Dynamite. Um, but it, say this name. Uh, VJ Deborakonda yeah. and Puri Jakan, uh, Jaganand. For, wow, I butchered and that. Forgive me. Karen Johar. A, that was a recognition. But I think it's uh, Karan Johar. I think it's produced. Okay. Let me double check. Karan Johar, but director is. Come on, where's the director credit? There we go. Okay, okay yeah, he's producing okay. it. He's a producer. Got it's it. Dharma, so that's obviously his production and, house. But it's about MMA. Freaking awesome. Yeah, but it uh, comes out. <laughs> they're clearly anticipating it being pretty big because it's not until August, August 25th that's coming out, and they're already releasing like a glimpse thing, so they're expecting it to be, and hopefully, a big one by that time. Um, we'll have some more theatrical. It's releases. interesting. Is Liger a particular kind of word that works in an Indian language that we wouldn't know? Because all I think of sincerely is Napoleon Dynamite, a lion and a tiger oh, combined, because yeah. mm -hmm. that's Napoleon Dynamite's favorite animal. The Liger. The Liger. Sweet. Oops. Got it. <sighs> Fixed it. Don't worry. That's something I have yet to do that I'd like to do in person is, is see MMA sex? live. Oh. No, yeah, all my sex is virtual. Oh, that, it's safer. It's, it's safer. Safer, safer sex. Yeah. yeah, virtual sex. <laughs> That's why all of my children are virtual children. Here we go. Have you ever met them in person? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time! The moment you've all been waiting for! Introducing the boy from India! The slum dog of the streets of Mumbai! Ow! The Chaiva! The Chaiva! The was a glimpse. It definitely was a glimpse. Just a little glimpse. Just a little smidge. Uh, <laughs> and clearly they couldn't afford the actual guy. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you said he makes like well, a his million brother dollars. does. Is they it? say there's Bruce Buffer and there's Mike Buffer. The guy who says, well, let's get ready to rumble, right? Right. That's boxing. Oh, okay. And that's, that's Mike, the older brother. He makes a million dollars and he probably word. says that, right? He gets five. I heard and I've read he gets five mil every time he says that because he gets a million per word. Let's, Let's get, get ready, ready to, to rumble. rumble. <laughs> now, Bruce Buffer uh -huh. is the UFC's guy. Fighting! That guy? When, he's the one who says, It's time! Mm -hmm. Which, I wonder... They said it's time at the beginning. Now, they didn't say it at the start of the fight, but they said it's time. I wonder if they had to throw a little green toward Buffer or the UFC. Who knows? Because if I know Buffer... He's like his brother, and he's probably made a registered trademark of that. It's time. God would absolutely. You can't literally like Mike Buffer. Let's get ready to rumble. Is his phrase like? It's copywritten for him. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, some. It looked like. Uh, hopefully, some of the fighting would be like obviously really good and really core because that's all we hope obvious. so. Like if we speak about it all the time. If you haven't seen The Warrior with Tom Hardy. Uh, probably the best MMA, without question, film. One of the best combat sport Which, movies ever. I, I 
in India, obviously, it was remade for Brothers, with right. Akshay, right? Uh, from Which we haven't seen that. We know it was remade. We actually liked the trailer. Yeah, when we saw that, we thought it was a really nice change on the take on it a little bit. Uh, I'm um, guessing they were a little early on because a lot of it sounded dubbed. It is a lot of excuses. It's not even a, a, a trailer or even a teaser. Because even quick even look. that guy sounded dubbed. He he was. So I'm wondering if like they're just it's like extremely like they might still be filming. Kind of. I'm sure they wouldn't surprise me if they're still in production. And I do hope it looks stylized in some of the fight sequences outside of the cage, but I hope when it's in the cage, we're going to get actual, like in uh, Warrior. Warrior, real MMA fighting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I would hope so. Um, I'm, I'm going through the shots here. Um, yeah, it would be cool to get a good... Fighting film. I don't know of this actor, VJ. I don't think we've ever seen him in anything. So you guys can tell us how he is. Um, and what we should know. Looks like he, I mean, I would hope, got pretty buff for this role, right? Yeah, and I, I, again, too, I hope he looked great as far as his physicality. He looked pretty heavy muscularity-wise, which there's quite a few MMA guys. They actually are the lesser proportion of fighters in MMA are super ripped many of them are just kind of average build um or light build um oh was he arjun in arjun ready the original of oh the original is he he's a south indian actor then i guess right and i thought we've seen i mean the name sounded familiar and it could just be because we've i don't think uh, we've seen not anything. we've seen anything of him but we've seen some trailers of stuff he's been in right oh you've seen arjun arjun ready right of uh, course and, and stuff like that um so I'm guessing... So are you excited, Stupid Babies, about this, this, is a, this, for those of you who know him? Yeah. I don't know. Obviously, so you guys can let us know how he is as an actor. Um, and what we can expect. Yeah. Like, is this supposed to be action on the side of, like, we, we use our proverbial examples of, like, Dwayne Johnson or... I'm assuming it's going to be a Rocky style, but with MMA, right? I... Yeah, but that, that's, therein lies the problem, because if you fall into the Rocky category, you're getting into the Warrior, which is the artsy films, yeah. the award-winning films, versus it may fall more on the, like, we hope it doesn't fall into the Tufan category. Yeah. Um, from what, I mean, from what I have heard of Arjun Reddy, obviously people really loved Arjun yeah. Reddy. And, and, and wanted us to see that wanted first. Wanted us to see it and raved about that actor's performance mm -hmm. of Arjun. Um, so, I, well, once again, we never saw that film, um, so we can't speak to it, but, so I'd assume he's, he's a good quality actor. It's interesting right. that this is the, this is a Hindi film, I do believe, because it's well, under, it's under Dharma. It is under Dharma, but it's showed at the end multiple languages, well, they, and I don't know if they shot they, it in multiples, or, or... Dubbing. Did dubbing. Because as we know, many films that have broad regional love get shot, especially from the South, in multiple languages. They'll shoot in three or four languages simultaneously, which boggles, boggles the mind as an actor. Oh, yeah. I mean, the technical side of it, forget about it, but even as an actor, to have to memorize a script in three languages? <laughs> I don't understand this. Film features VJ, right. Mike Tyson. <laughs> I don't know if that's the Mike Tyson. <laughs> a fight film? It's got to be. Be cool. And if it is, be good. this just went way up That'd for me. That'd be cool if they got Mike Tyson, though. This would, goes way up for me in my expectation. That'd be cool if they got Mike Tyson. Did you, I had a, you ever run into Mike Tyson before? Yeah, I have. I did. And oh, of all too. places in San that Antonio, too. Texas. Really? What? Yeah. I happened to be working. I was doing outside sales at the time. And I was at a place that was a car dealership. And as I'm walking out, having talked to the manager there for stuff that I was trying to sell him at the car dealership that had nothing to do with cars, had to do with first aid supplies. Uh, I'm walking out and I see Tyson walking in with two bodyguards. And I went, no way, I'm leaving. And I turned back around and walked in, but I did not have the chutzpah to walk up and talk to him because it was quiet. And he had that determined look on his face like he really didn't want to be talk. What surprised me, and I should have known this, is that he's my height. Oh, is he? But he was heavyweight champ. Dude is freaking thick and have you seen him recently mm -hmm. if you see some look up mike tyson fighting and in the past year he's my age freaking screaming fast powerful as scary as he's ever been i love i love mike tyson he's probably getting ready to fight like logan paul or something like that i would <laughs> <laughs> logan paul please make the mistake 
of calling out Mike Tyson. <laughs> the world wants to see that because Mike Tyson would kill him. <laughs> I would so love to see that. That You just said that. Now I have a dream. <laughs> I have a dream now to watch that happen. Oh, that'd be funny. If Logan Paul has a brain cell or Logan in Paul. his body. Yeah, Logan Paul. Pogan Law. If he has. Well, there's two. The, if, no, Logan Paul the, and, and, and his brother, uh, Jake Paul. Right. But if he has any kind of a brain cell in his head, yeah. he won't they go probably, anywhere near Mike Tyson. They, they probably don't. But they have a bunch of dollar signs. <laughs> Those guys make yeah, a lot of money. Yeah, I, I love Mike Tyson. Anyways, let us know about this film and what else we need to know, and this actor as well, uh, what we need to know down below. Just